welcome family, friends, colleagues, and most importantly, Harvard Teacher Fellows of Cohorts 4 and 5, Hugsy graduates of 2021. This is your day, and we're here to celebrate your remarkable individual and collective efforts, contributions, accomplishments, and impact as beginning teachers learning and growing as educators while doing the difficult and critical work of teaching each and every day. When I asked my colleagues for guidance on these remarks, I received deft advice. Long year, short speech, big congratulations. That's certainly wise advice that I really did want to follow. But then in reflecting on all that you have accomplished in cohort five over the last 16 months, and for you graduates in cohort four over the last two and a half years, and how challenging and important this journey has been, I began to think about an idea connected to difficult journeys that I learned from the Passover Seder when we retell, relive, and reflect on the liberation story of the Exodus. Now, if you've ever been to a Passover Seder, you'll know it doesn't bode particularly well for brief remarks. In fact, around my in-laws table, the Seder starts at sundown, and it's the early hours of the morning before the first bowl of matzo ball soup is served. But worry not, we will not be analyzing and debating each and every word. You will not be served gefilte fish, and we'll keep the connection to the Seder quite singular. It is the idea of dayenu, which translates roughly as, that would have been enough that I want to reflect on today as we celebrate the completion of this part of a journey that we've been on together. Now, a side note, during the Seder, Dayenu is introduced between the second and third cup of wine. So if you haven't already, this could be a good time to fill your cup, and perhaps one for me since I don't have anything up here, because we'll be toasting our graduates soon enough. As we recount important events of the Exodus journey and reflect with gratitude and wonder at each turn, we say Dayenu, that would have been enough. Dayenu is a way to notice those outcomes that with hindsight we might mistake as inevitable, but which we know in the uncertain moments when they are happening are far from it. Rather, they are entire journeys unto themselves. So as I think about all that each of you have committed yourselves to, all that you've learned, worked towards, and been through along the way to today's graduation. And I reflect with an abundance of gratitude and inspiration on the many moments of struggle and uncertainty, inspiration and impact that have marked this time. I reflect on how each of you continued to redouble your commitment and effort in the face of extreme challenge, and how day in and day out you've shown up for the young people you teach and for each other. I reflect on all of these many moments of triumph and loss, challenge and perseverance, and at each turn I think, Dayenu, that would have been enough. If you had just made a major life transition from being a Harvard senior or recent graduate to joining the workforce as a novice teacher. If you had just committed yourself to being of service in urban schools. If you had just contributed with your whole selves as members of the HTF learning community. If you had just made your way through a challenging master's degree at Hugsy, if you had just taken up the call to teach with a full heart, a strong grasp of content, an unwavering dedication to your students, and a commitment to grow, if you had just critically reflected on your own identity and position to responsibly embrace your authority in a classroom, if you had just responded to a global pandemic and needing to leave campus by reaffirming your commitment to teach young people in communities hardest hit by the virus. If you had just showed up in the evening to dance yourself silly at HTF Zoom parties and create joy for each other through hardship. If you had just dedicated yourself to deep learning and practice of anti-racist pedagogies. If you had just regularly stayed up late into each night planning lessons, giving feedback on student work and communicating with families. If you had just spent the time in your first year of teaching to outlearn your professors to master cutting edge technologies for remote instruction. If you had just designed culturally responsive curriculum that makes room for students' social emotional well-being and mastery of content. If you had just stayed the course to share your unwavering enthusiasm with and enthusiasm each and every day despite the challenges to student engagement and learning that peaked alongside this virus. If you had just remained consistent and strong 
to support your students, family, and friends, and each other through illness and, catas and catastrophe. Any one of those things would have been enough for me to stand here before you today, beaming with admiration and awe for your individual effort and, and impact and the mission you've helped this community aspire to fulfill. And so for this leg of the journey, I ask you to raise your glasses in Dayenu and spend some time nourishing yourselves for the journey to come. It is now my honor to individually recognize each graduate of the Harvard Teacher Fellows Program. Cohort four, Harvard Teacher Fellow graduates. Johnny Adler. Ata Ompansa. Casey Bennett. Samantha Berman. Mina Bapana. Miles Counts. Jonathan Eddy. Laura Kanji. Will Lee. Esteban Madrigal. Jennifer Murphy. Q. O'Keen. Ali Park. Tamjid Rahman. Naomi Reiner. Marisa Rodriguez. Natalia Jepka. Yael Sager. Audrey Thorne. John Tornis. Yuan Chi Kylie Zhang. And the Marshal for Cohort 4 of the Harvard Teacher Fellows Program, Kenton Shumazaki. Harvard Teacher Fellow, Cohort 5 graduates. Karen Andres. Katherine Brennan. Kit Carroll. Alice Siu Chang. Grace Eisenbach. Amanda Naylor Flores. Allison Garber. Deanna Gutierrez. Rebecca Hernandez. Justina Hewitt. Bridget Keegan. Trevor Ladner. Anna Mazur.
Mona Miao. Patiana Patino. Maria Jose Perez Franco. Olivia Phillips. Gant Player. Katie Rabinovitz. Natty Robinson. Ian Saum. Audrey Magdalene Sheehy. Sarah Toomey. Henry Wong. Jessica Renee Williams. Catherine Zhang. And the Marshal for Cohort 5 of the Harvard Teacher Fellows Program, Zainab Ertegay. Congratulations, Harvard Teacher Fellows. I could not be more proud of the teachers and people that you have become and the learning community that you have created.